It's 935 K Day Morning Show with your boy Romeo holding down LA early in the morning. And uh, this is legendary niss to me as well. Morris Day is in the building. How you doing, fam? I'm good. I'm good, brother. How you doing? Well, you just shut down uh what LA a couple days ago. You did your thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did what we do, man. We 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 shut them on down. So let's talk about the purple legacy. Now people understand like there's something special about this tour because you've been out on the road, you've been doing it, but what's different about the Purple Legacy Tour? Well, you know, what, what's different is we really want to uh, sit in, in a one spot, uh, Vegas being a prime spot where everybody can come to us from around the world and see what we do, man, and instead of us having to, you know, do the red eyes and going off, and, and, and we're going to take it up a notch, man. Yeah. You know, we're going to take it up a notch and, and do some different stuff. Now, will it be some surprise guests you can speak on, or we got to wait for it? Well, well, you know, I like to say, you know, there'd be some grown men, uh, hint, hint, in the house, and there'd be some well-dressed men in the house, mm. hint, hint. You know, so uh, we, we, you know, we're going to do make it do what it do. Make it do what it do. And that date, I believe, is it September 29th and 30th? And 30th. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Back to back. Now, when I think about Vegas, I always think about fights. And what I did not know, I learned later that you are a huge fan when it comes to boxing. Big time. So uh, I know, I think there may be a fight going on that weekend as well. Yeah. Uh, who do you know me put for? Who are your go-to fighters or who are some of the ones you admired growing up? Uh, well, growing up, uh, one of the highlights of my life was uh, uh, my stepdad uh, was a local businessman, Northside, Minneapolis, and uh, Muhammad Ali came through. Oh. And uh, I was a little dude, and um, it was like looking at a giant, man, and he was just talking his shit like he does, yeah. man. And I'm looking at this dude, man, and he's bigger than life, and I've seen him on TV beating up people and stuff like that. And it was just a highlight for me, man. Yeah, because yeah. to see him, like you said, on TV, and now he's yeah. standing right in front of in you. In front of me, man, yeah. And yeah. what he meant for black people and what he meant for this country and how he stood up for what he felt was right was so amazing. Yeah, man, it was for amazing. Real, for real. Yeah, yeah. And I was just seeing all of that, man, and just taking it all in. Like, everything I've ever seen him do or say, I'm just looking at right like, there, man. I'm like, hey. The champions here. <laughs> yeah, right, hey, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, man, you were one of the champions in Minneapolis, and when I think about that sound and the whole vibe of putting records together, I love the fact with your new project i just saw the video where you and big daddy came right yeah, yeah i think it's like crazy how difficult would that have been back in the day with record labels to make that happen because now you know you can go to social media we can connect that's how we kind of connected right yeah absolutely well you know what you're right um but now it's easier because we really are our own label. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, back then, um, the Warner Brothers days, uh, they, they were really um, opinionated and they had the last say, you know, so it was hard to make certain things happen because I want right. to work with a lot of folks, you know, back when I was signed to them. But, yeah. you know, they was always batting down those ideas. So, yeah, this this day and age, it was a lot simpler to make that happen. Morris, they're hanging out with the K-Day Morning Show. And, of course, back then, I think about the hits, Gigolos, Good Lonely, too. Yes. Walk. Come on, man. <laughs> In the studio making those legendary records that are timeless, which particular song, or there may be a couple of songs, Morris, that stood out when you were recording, you were like, yo, this is going to be crazy. I is kinda, there a certain one? I kind of felt that way about a lot of them. You know, okay. it was just, you know, we, we, we would start on them, and a lot of times uh, we would start, like, with a bass and drum track and just keep layering and layering, and then we get to the vocals and um, start putting the hooks in there and, you know, like, damn, we on to something with this, you know what I yeah. mean? And, and uh, it was always special because... Um, we always, uh, we, we were musicians first, and still am. I'm a musician first. Mm -hmm. So um, we got the music right. And, and if you listen to a lot of the stuff that we did, you know, um, once we got through with the business of the song, uh, the A, the B, the bridge, uh, then we always had some, some real stuff going on the outro, some real musicianship. Yeah. And so it was just always everything was special, you know, to me. You know, a lot of them, a lot of them. Stand uh, man, out. I would love to have been a fly on the wall just for some of those recordings, just to see how they went front to back. Now, how much uh, input did Prince have doing a lot of that song? Was it on some of them, or was he in there pretty much for every oh, recording? Prince session? was hands on with everything, you know. Um, and it was great, and it wasn't great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get it. You I know, get you. It was great because the dude was great. I mean, you know, you couldn't. You couldn't really say that 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 his ideas weren't great ideas, and so if if he, um, which he often did, bat down my ideas, uh -huh. you know, I, I I could be mad, but the shit still 
sounded great. You know, right, he was, right. so he was just a he was just that kind of guy. I mean, he was I've never seen anybody as driven and as musically talented as he was. So it was just hard to, you know, argue with. And you both are creative, so the creative differences will bump heads at some point. We do understand that. Yeah, right? well, you know, for me, it, it was, it, you know, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I was okay with taking direction and letting him uh, run the show. Mm -hmm. But I just felt like I needed to have my own outlet. Yeah. And that's the thing that he shut down the most. Mm -hmm. And that's where we started to bump heads. I said, okay, I'm going to do it your way. You let me get my little say in and I, you know, I play on the records and I sing and all that, but I need the one, I need the project where I'm doing everything. Yeah. And that's where he's like, okay, talk to whoever management, you know, uh, Fargnoli, um, and, uh, you know, that, what, what was it? Cavallo, Ruffalo, Fargnoli. Yeah. Uh -huh. And, uh, so I talked to him, I said, look, I need to do my own thing, man. And, um, they said, okay, okay, that we'll get back to you on that. So they come back and they said, oh, yeah, Prince said you could do it. But he's going to executive produce it. <laughs> he's still, it's like, well, wait a minute. Same shit. Yeah, you know? exactly, like, exactly. Ain't nothing new here. So, you know, anyway, that's what led up to me uh, wanting to leave that camp. You know? yeah. So, yeah. So when I, when I think about that and I think about Prince being hands on so much, but yet the talent of Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. You know, we hear the records that they have, right? Yeah. At what point did they say, look, we're about to slide the back door, go do some other things on the side here. Don't say nothing. Let us go handle this. Which was crazy, which was crazy because um, when you look back and you realize what Prince had right there in his camp. Right, yeah. What he had. Mm -hmm. And all he had to do is just open up, you know, a little bit and let everybody do their own thing and say, hey, y'all get Studio A, I'll be in Studio B or whatever, and y'all do what you do. But it wasn't like that. You know, he was like, no, nah, y'all can't do nothing. You can't write for nobody. You can't produce for nobody. You don't have, I know I'm sounding like I hate Prince right now, but I don't. No, no, but, <laughs> but these are the stories we but heard. It's, it's true, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he had all of this. He had all of this right there, so that whole thing just could have been a part of his empire. Yeah, and I just feel like though, that's just part of him that made that created his greatness. I mean, that's yeah. just how he foreseen it. So look, yeah. we all love Prince, no, no, no doubt about that. Yeah, yeah. But here you are, you're still doing your thing. You're out on the road. I'm excited to be on the cruise, the old school cruise that sold out oh, man. within like minutes or hours. It was our names. Yeah, yeah, you think, <laughs> yeah it, it was more than Romeo. Right, that was it. The they heard out. that, they're like, oh shit, I'm cruising, man. I'm in. <laughs> I'm, in. <laughs> I'm in like that. It's going down in the Guinness Book of World Records because we're having two cruise ships go side by side for three days. Wow. How crazy is that going to be? And have you done cruises? You performed on cruises before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. So you already know what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and, and I love the fact that, to me, I feel like you're a people person. So Because once you're on that ship, you're on that ship. Oh, you're on there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you ain't no running. So no matter where you go. <laughs> yeah. They, they got you. Yeah, they got you. You know, you know. Yeah. But I'm excited to see you on that cruise ship, man. And I'm just excited about the projects that you got out right now. Uh, and with this already in the works and moving, you're creative. You stay that way. Do you already have stuff in the can for the next project? Or are you thinking about that? Well, maybe, Romeo, you didn't get the memo. Okay. Last call. Come on. I'm retired. I know. I want you to say <laughs> it. I want you to say it. <laughs> You trying our, me now? Uh, I, I thought between our last interview, yeah, he yeah. may have changed his mind. Hey, no, you know what? Should. You know what? You're right. Um, I, I can't stop being creative. Uh -huh. And um, you know, maybe uh, you know, maybe um, I'll, I'll come out of retirement. I don't mm. know. Mm. But you know, we always doing. I mean, stuff, Jordan did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, man, I, I, it's just it's just exciting times, you know, for me now at this juncture in my life because uh, we really um doing our own thing. Being yeah. Yeah. our own label and stuff like that so um you know if if something comes up and it and, and it makes sense you know i'm, I'm in man. kd so, nation you know, i tried yeah, yeah i right. tried pushing the envelope there but he <laughs> you know he pushed back on it a little bit but when i seen you come out at the council you just did here in la and how the crowd embraced you and how there's other generations knowing about you now you know what yeah, i mean yeah yeah but but i get it you've been yeah. in the game you've been doing your thing so you know when you want to shut it down but I don't know, Katie Nation. <laughs> we might we might be able to get some more out of it. Yeah, sure. yeah, might be able to. You know, hey, I don't know. I can't I can't say that I will or that I won't at this point. Okay. You know? I love that. Yeah. I love that. So before a show, are there certain songs you love to hear that makes you get ready? Or is it is it just silence for Morris Day before you hit the stage? It's, it's kind of silence, you know. Um, you know, my guys, uh, 
you know, they're they're festive, you know, so I got to have my own little room. Mm -hmm. And then I let them have their room. You go in their room, <laughs> it's a party, man. Right, you know, right. you got food, you got drinks, you got people. And, you know, and my room is pretty boring, you know, but I need that, you know, I, I need that just to just to clear my head and, and, and go out there and do what I do. Mm, yeah, I know, man. I yeah. respect that. And now I, I'm thinking about, I'm looking at you, I'm thinking about the movie Purple Rain. <laughs> and I wonder how many times have you watched that? Because every time I catch it, I don't care what part of the movie it's on, yeah. I'm stuck. You know, and when you watch it back for the first time, seeing yourself on the screen like that, what did it feel like for you? Now, see, Romeo, I don't know if you set me up because you remember what I told you about this, or I don't know if you're just genuinely asking me this question, but I'm gonna tell you again, my brother. Okay. <laughs> I have not watched Purple Rain in its entirety, but once, mm. and that was at the premiere at the Chinese Man's Theater. That was my first and last time ever watching that movie from top to bottom. I know we talked to this about this, day, but yeah. I don't know if I remember that. <laughs> yes, yeah, I've only seen that movie one time. <laughs> <laughs> really yeah now to be honest i flipped through and seen it on and you know i stopped there for a second yeah and watch and i get a little chuckle out of it and then i keep flipping but to be honest yeah that's that's a real that's that's real talk man one time ever wow <laughs> man we've watched it thousands of times <laughs> and we can never get enough of seeing you live yeah. on stage yeah, that's cool man that's you know cool. what i'm saying Appreciate so once again let's flip it back around to purple legacy it's going down in las vegas yeah. of course when you think of la a drive to vegas is nothing a flight to vegas is nothing right. so how can people get a hold of that to get those tickets be involved with that uh strat strat.com strat.com yeah that's what we're doing yeah. strat.com it's not too far from Sahara, which my company owns the Sahara. So you can stay there if you need to, or stay at Strat and go check out the <laughs> go show. Go check for it the out weekend. from there. That's it. That's it. Man, that's all you got to do. That's it. I love that. I love that. So, a regular day for Morris Day, like when you leave here and when you're not working, when you're not on stage doing interviews, what is it like? Uh, it's, it's chill mode, man. You know, I, I try and keep it simple these days. You know, I, I'm not big on leaving the house because, you know, first thing I like to do in the morning. Yeah. Is watch the news to just see what what craziness is happening. Always, you know, and um, I don't like what I see, man. So I don't mm. leave the house a hell of a lot, you know. I like kind of keep it close and you know get on and we do our boardroom meetings and uh, you know Courtney Benson, my manager over there, you know, uh, yeah, we do the boardroom me. meetings and um, you know strategize and then I just you know uh, just keep it simple from there, man. If I got some work to do, I do it. If not, yeah. chilling. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same way. I mean, like you know, I've been through that that era of. I got to get out of the house. Yeah. Now yeah. I'm like, if I'm not performing somewhere, if I'm not hosting something, yeah. I'm at home. That's it. That's I mean, it. We, it's, it's, it's a better place to be like hey, that, man. Best seat in the house, watch sports, watch whatever. Best seat in the house. So that's what I do, man. All right. And for KD Nation, if they don't know, who is your go-to football team? Ah, man, I'm not a, I'm not a big football guy, man. You know, okay, I'm basketball big. team. Uh, not big basketball either. I, I'm, my my main sport is boxing, man. You okay, know? yeah, so it's, it's, that's it. Gloves on. Gloves Wait, on. Did you ever box? Why do you love boxing so much? I I don't know, man. I just I've never boxed, you know, um, and and don't consider myself a fighter per se, but I just love the science of boxing. Mm, you know, and, okay. And Crawford, um, you know, I've been watching him for a long time. Yeah. And watching his journey. And um, I was a little surprised that he took out uh, Spence the way he did. Yeah. Uh, I wanted him to win. Yeah, you were Team Crawford. You told yeah, me that. Yeah. Yep. But I didn't know he was going to take him out like that. Me neither. <laughs> I, Earl, Spence, Earl Spence had not experienced anything like that. He wasn't yeah. ready for that. Yeah. And I just saw something recently about Crawford. I guess he's from Omaha. Yeah. And when yeah. they honored him, they gave him the land next to his building so he can expand it. Yeah. to help out those in the neighborhood, and they gave it to him for $1. Oh, that's awesome. So that yeah. may be a bigger win for Crawford than it was in the ring. But, I mean, yeah. that was major. Do you foresee the way that fight went down? Do you foresee a rematch in the future? Like, would you want to see it? I, I, I absolutely think there'll be a rematch. Okay. I think, I think it, it has to it be, has but, to. like. Yeah, yeah I, it has to, and it's going to be a huge draw. It's going to be bigger oh, yeah. than this, you know, bigger than the one that just happened. So I, I, I think that's inevitable, to be honest. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I agree with you 100%. Yeah. Purple Legacy Tour going down. Morris Day hanging out. Yes. K-Day Morning Show. <laughs> I love seeing how you move on social media. I always tell you that, man. I appreciate what you've done for us and the lifetime of music that you gave us to as well, all right? My brother. Strat.com, get those tickets, pick up last call, even though it may not be. But pick it up, <laughs> though, because you never know.
As Michael Jackson <laughs> say, this is it. This is yeah. the end. <laughs> 